And as for the claim that replacing saturated fat with polyunsaturated fats like seed oils reduces cardiovascular disease, this has been disproven every time it has ever been studied in a randomised controlled trial. The first study to examine this question was from 1965. Heart attack survivors were randomly allocated to receive either a supplement of corn oil or their regular diet. After two years, 48% of those in the corn oil group had had a heart attack, compared to only 25% on their regular, higher saturated fat diet. The next study was much closer to home, the Sydney Diet Heart Study. This was a randomised controlled trial examining the effect of replacing saturated fat with polyunsaturated in men who'd had heart attacks. And it found that those Australian males who increased their intake of polyunsaturated fats were 62% more likely to die. Finishing in the same year, we have the Minnesota coronary experiment. This was a double-blinded, randomised controlled trial on more than 9,000 men and women. And again, subjects who replaced saturated fat with polyunsaturated fats faced an increased risk of death. It's almost getting to the point where one could consider that removing saturated fat from the diet might not be healthy. And indeed, this is what was shown again by the Women's Health Initiative. Published first in 2006, it was a massive study of over 48,000 females with a mean follow-up of 8.1 years. Not incidentally, this was also horribly expensive, about 700 million US dollars, which means we probably don't get a do-over. And this modern day randomised control trial found a 26% increased risk of cardiac complications in those females randomised to a reduced saturated fat diet. Now, even though you're all well-educated doctors and surgeons, I wouldn't be surprised if this was news to you. The reason being there are suggestions that these findings haven't been effectively disseminated. Take the Sydney Diet Heart Study, for example. It was completed in 1973, but the mortality data wasn't published until some 40 years later, following a chance discovery of the study data in a basement. The Minnesota Coronary Survey also finished in 1973, but it took 16 years for a redacted version of the findings to be published. And it wasn't until 2016 that a more complete version was finally published. Again, after the study data was discovered in a basement. You couldn't make this up. As for the Women's Health Initiative, the only, and I emphasise, the only statistically significant finding of the whole study just so happened to be omitted from the results table and was never discussed in any press conference. <coughs> This vague sentence on page 661 of the publication was a single reference to it, the finding being that females with a history of heart disease faced a 26% increased chance of complication like heart attack on a low saturated fat diet. And follow-up of the Women's Health Initiative demonstrates that this risk attributed to the low saturated fat diet continued to increase over time this paper reporting a 61% increased risk of cardiac complications in this group. Nobody really knows for sure why the findings of these randomised con control trials were not better disseminated. Dr Ivan D. France, however, a co-principal investigator on the Minnesota coronary experiment, indicated it may have been due to his difficulty in reconciling the study's findings that polyunsaturated fats increased death rates, which conflicted with his belief in the diet heart hypothesis. When asked about the delay in publishing the study findings, he admitted that, quote, we were just disappointed in the way it came out, end of quote. 